Hello, my dear students. In last session, we have discussed about Python programming. In last session, we have also discussed some basic fundamentals of programming concepts. We learned about the print function so that we can display messages in a program and we have created uh, our first program in which we have shown hello world message. I think these things are clear to you. And uh, we have also learned how to compile a program, how to interpret a program and rectify the errors which have uh, which occur during the execution of a program. Today, in this chapter, we will learn something about input function and its uses, how to make decisions and practice problems we will do in this exercise. Okay, so let's get a start. First of all, uh, we try to recapitulate what we have learned. So, in every program, there are three things, input, process and output. In last chapter, we, we did certain programs in which uh, we, we did process as well as got the output. But whatever we did, we did according to some fixed values. For example, program to find sum of A and B. So what we have done? We took the values of A and B by our choice. It may be 5, 6, it may be 7, 8, it may be 9 and 12. Any value you can give here. And then we did the process S is equal to A plus B. B. This is the process going on. And after processing, we have to show the output. So output is print sum of A and B is comma S. So the sum of A and B is, this is the message which, which we want to show and S is the value which we want to show to the user. So you will get the output like this, sum of A and B is 11. Okay, so this is your output. So till now we did some kind of, uh, such kind of programs. Now, what is the problem with this kind of programs? Problem is that, that every time whenever we execute this program, you will get the same result, same output. Means always the value of A and B remain 5 and 6 and you get the output 11. One time, two times, three times and how many number of times you execute the program, the same value you will get. So there is no benefit of this program because it's not working like a calculator. What do you do in calculator? You give two values and according to the values you get the result. Do you do this that always you print 5, you press 5 and 6 and you get the 11, 5 and 6. Every time you don't need to press 5 and 6. It may be different values. So we want to get the values of A and B from the user. And how we will you, how we will do this? So think over this problem. How will you get the different output each time when you execute the program? So to do this, we have to take the values of A and B from the user at the execution of a program, a execution time of a program. And for that purpose, we need another function that is called input function. Okay. So input function is basically used to get the values from the user. Values from the user. Now what is the syntax? Syntax means the way of how you can write a command. So syntax is, uh, that is variable is equal to input and then in bracket you can put the message whatever message you want to say. Uh, say you want to say input your values, input first number, any message you can print. And at the time of execution, this input will ask some values from user and store it in the variable defined here. 
वेरिएबल में भी एनी नेम एनी वेरिएबल नेम सो लेट्स सी थ्रू द एग्जाम्पल दिस आवर इनपुट प्रोग्राम इनपुट प्रोग्राम वन राइट अ प्रोग्राम टू डिस्प्ले मैसेज रिसीव फ्रॉम यूजर नाउ दिस प्रोग्राम चेंज फ्रॉम द लास्ट प्रोग्राम विच वी हैव डन इन द प्रीवियस सेशन इन विच वी सेट टू यू दैट राइट अ प्रोग्राम टू डिस्प्ले अ हेलो वर्ल्ड मैसेज बट हेयर द मैसेज इज नॉट गिवन प्रीडिफाइंड मैसेज नॉट प्रीडिफाइंड सो वॉट वी आर डूइंग इन दिस प्रोग्राम we want to receive a message from the user and then display that the same message to the user in this program whatever message will be given by the user will be displayed by print statement so earlier message is equal to there was hello world but now we have did this thing uh, we have done message is equal to input and in bracket we have given give your message so whatever message this user will give to msg msg is the name of variable that can be printed easily okay so like this give your message it will be shown by the uh, interpreter and then you will get hello avinav this is the message user has given now computer will return you the message hello avinav is it okay i think it is okay let's do the exercise uh, practically now first of all we will open ideally python ideally python right python here and then you will get the ideally press enter now here um, python console is available now when you work line by line in this interactive mode this is called interactive mode this window is called interactive mode you give one command and you get the answer immediately suppose i write i have written 8 into 9 then you get the answer immediately but when there are three or four commands and we want to club these three four commands then we have to use script mode to use the script mode you go to file menu and then new now we will write those programs here which we have seen in our slide the uh, age is equal to uh, suppose message message we want to get the message from the user message is equal to input enter your message enter your message okay so now print msg what will happen here whenever user user execute this program what happens you will get this enter your message that prompt that will be display on the screen enter your message now you will write some message on that and that message will be stored in msg variable this is a variable called msg and when you print this variable msg you will get the result now execute this program but before executing we have to save it so save as and then where to save choose the location appropriately users and then here i want to save it as a sample 6 sample 6.py now i want to execute to execute this program what we have to press we have to press f5 key i press f5 key and you see due to in input input function it is asking for a message enter your message this is the prompt you have given there this is the message you has give you have given in the input function so that message is shown here now you will write your message hello avinav hello avinav now your message was printed here message is appearing here sorry uh, hello avinav you have given the message hello avinav and you got the message hello avinav from the computer side so same thing earlier when you did the program in previous exercise the message was pre printed pre defined that was hello world but now the things has been changed the program has been changed now whatever input the user gave 
according to the message will print. Suppose again I want to execute this program. It is showing message. Now I want to give another message hello Anjali. Anjali. Now it will give the message hello Anjali. So this is the beauty of uh, giving the values at runtime. Okay, so whatever value you give at the runtime, it will give the message according to that that input values. Okay, is it clear to all of you? Let's move to the next slide. Now move forward. Next thing is input program two. In this program, we will get the age of a person from the user. We will get input as a age of a person and display her age increased by 2. Now what we have to do? First of all, we will get the user's age and then we will increase the age by 2 and then print that age. So code may be like this, age is equal to input, enter your age, age is equal to age plus 2, print age. Is it okay? What happened? Here we have print a message, we have print a message, enter your age, the user will input the age and it goes into age variable. And now what we will do? We will raise the age by 2. When we raise it plus by 2 then the new age value will be assigned to another age variable and then we will print the age variable is it okay what you do you do in this way no uh, you have to uh, you have taken a variable a and if you want to increase the value of a by 2 then what will you do a plus 2 and where it will go it will goes again into a so now when we execute this program you will get an error message let me do it ideally now we will do uh, another program which we have seen so in this what we have to do we get the age from the user and will raise the age by two years okay and then show the, the his age so what we have to do age is equal to input enter your age start coding and then now here we will, we have to write age is equal to age plus 2 what happens when using input we receive a age from the user suppose user has given 23 so now 23 is raised by 2 that is 25 and assigned to again the variable age. So it will execute from right to left. Okay. So first of all, this portion will uh, solve. And then after that solving this portion, it will assign to age. Okay. Now print age. Print age. Or you can give a good message your your age after two years will be age okay so in this way you will get the message as well as your age okay now when we execute what will happen first of all we have to save it save this save as choose the appropriate location where to save I have to save in users you know users and sample 7 ok now I have saved this file I want to execute that this what key we will press either you can use run and then run module or you can press F5 key ok so press F5 key F5 ok just now do F5 
enter your age 23 what will be the output yes 25 you will get an error message yes this is the type error why it is so because if we read this you can easily understand what happened you can only concatenate a string not integer to a string you can concatenate concatenate only a string to a string but in our case what happened actually what happened input always return a string whether it is number or it is a string or input always return in the form of a string so suppose you have given 23 23 appears that it's a number but because input has been used so it is in the form of a string okay and that is string assigned to age and here what we were doing so age is a string and this is a integer so that cannot happen either both should be integer or both should be a string because we want to do addition so in case in that case we have to convert this age into number age stands for age here is a string and that string need to convert into integer so how to do this conversion for this we will write simply int in front of input and then at the end we will put bracket so now what happened the whatever we have received with the help of input function we will now do the conversion and converting it into integer after converting it into integer both these things will become this is also integer and this is also integer so sum can be done easily now execute this program suppose we have given 23 as a age so now when we press your age after 2 year will be 25 all right so this is the way you can work with python program you can use input function very well okay now today's exercise is over